OG Legacy. A lot of niggas with your story, with your story and shit, a lot of niggas, uh, you know, and, and I don't know if you want to open up this story, but you know, a lot, 50 Cent. I'm talking about anything, my nigga. Like, no, yeah, facts. But 50 Cent tricked a lot of niggas out of town to think that he was this, this, uh, this major goon in New York. I'm not saying he was soft. I'm not saying all that. But a lot of shit he said and did was right, and then you got overlooked. So when you got deported, let, a let lot me of tell you something, my nigga, to keep it real. Mm -hmm. To keep it real, I would never talk down on nobody or discredit nobody, right? And and me and a lot of niggas could tell you that. For me, Joffrey, American Towers, Banks, yeah, yo, whoever will tell you this, man. 50 never bust his gun for this unit shit yet. When 50 got hit, 50, 50 ain't put no work in, so he can't get mad at me now, even if I'm talking about it. He was in the poker nose, Ken. Yeah, yeah. I'm Boy ain't put no work in for this. Yeah. Remember, he ain't have to put no work in for this. He had loyal niggas. He yeah. had me, yeah. Root Boy, yeah. before, before Ice, 109, and Jesse, and Jaffe, and, and American Towers came involved. It was me and Root Boy, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Putting, around, putting in all that pain. Yeah, and then Root Boy was doing what he was doing. He recruited 109. You know what I mean? And then from now, my nigga came involved. Real hitters. 50 ain't have to put in no work because everybody in the team had two or three bodies. Everybody. So he ain't have to put in. Niggas ain't want no problem. Hollis ain't want no problem. Woodhall ain't want no problem. Bricktown ain't want no problem. And this is facts. He had a lawyer. I looked up to him at the point. Remember, everybody gave up on Dunn. He had loyal people around him. Like, if it wasn't for me, Root Boy and AT109, remember, 109 and them had their own reputation. Them brick triangle niggas ain't want no smoke with 109 or, or, or Holly. Like, these niggas had their own rep. That's why I like it. You talking about God Brewer and all that? Yeah, 109 on God Brewer, nigga. Rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Flip. Rest in peace, Root Boy. No doubt. Free domination all day. Yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah, this is fact. We put in, we we put the work in for this. Boy ain't have to worry about none. Yeah. Or for loyalty though. This is why I'm trying to tell dudes. Yo, you we know was opened, loyal to him. You know what opened my eyes though, baby? What, what opened my eyes was back in about O two when you was on the island, and um, and the nigga was like, "Yo, I think your bill was like twenty or something." Now nah, my bill was seventy five thousand. It was seventy five. I, 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 and he had just touched the milli. I felt like he should have banged the nigga. I, I, I felt like he should have bailed you out, a nigga that was riding with him at that time. But when I heard him Everybody say, "Go back to the hood, food. get your mind right." Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on King. When, this is where everybody got to confuse that nigga. When I was locked up, I'm in the Beacon, nigga, ten block, nigga, one of the wildest buildings on the island, nigga. Right. When I'm calling homie, I'm calling for my money. What the fuck you want me to do? Nah, you good though. You good, What's poppin'? Pardon me. Nah, you good. Pardon me. That was you left off. What we was talking about again? You left off saying that we was talking about the bond. Right. Right. When I get locked up, I'm calling for my money, King. I'm not yeah. calling for no fifty money or no Curtis Jackson money. And that Remember, was I already had millions in the bank. Right, and that was from a that was from a business thing that y'all had that y'all was actually partners on, right? Before G Unit, Before right. G -Unit. right? We had Hollow right. Point Entertainment. Right. Me and Fifty had our own company. Before G Unit, he was, he was trying to say uh, or something that you was like, yo, um, yo, I don't even want that shit and all that. But I guess that yeah, things, yeah. Yo, listen, when I said I ain't want it, right? Yeah. Let me tell you something. I got locked up, homie. I said, that's four months, right? I be, I got kicked off the the months four, kicked off a tour of four months, right? You was beefing with what's his name? I wasn't beefing with nobody at the time, my nigga. I've oh. been in the hood for four months when I got kicked off a tour. I went home. I started working on domination, King. I wasn't beefing with nobody. I ain't disrespect nobody. I ain't talk bad about nobody. I went home. They sent me back to the hood broke. But you know, I'm a hood nigga. But All I, I got to do is tap you, in. I'm in the hood. I'm getting what I want. I'm getting the bag. I get what I want when I touch the hood. I so when I went hands, to the hood. I thought you put hands on the manager, nigga, though. Yes, I put hands on the manager, right, nigga. That's how you got kicked off the tour. 
Me, Jaffe, and Malik put hands on the on the uh, on the road manager, right? right? That's how we got kicked off the tour. But I'm talking about after that, when I got sent back to the hood. I was in the hood for four months before I catch that case. I ain't disrespect nobody. I ain't beef for nobody. I ain't talk bad about nobody. I'm still repping the movement, you are. Right, right. I'm just like your boy doing his business thing right now. I understand where he coming from, right? So when he sent me back to the hood, I tried to impress the nigga. So I started working on my artist, Domination. Right. Show him that I'm you understand working on my yeah. yeah, that's how Domination got his bus in the hood. I, this is all me trying to impress 50 to show him, like, nah, nigga, I'm business minded. I ain't, because they thinking I'm crazy. So I'm like, damn, these are my team, this family, I can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to show them a different side of me. So I started working on domination. Long story short, four months later, I wound up catching the case in the hood. We had a shootout. Yeah. Big bang out in the hood. Granted, I'm not mad at nobody. I go to jail. I told my moms, my baby moms, Dime away by yo, just tell 50, send me my money. I, I, I ain't even asked for the whole bag because I had 1.3 million. I had 1.3 million in my name, nigga. All I asked for, yo, just tell 50, yo, send me such and such. I'm good. And the bail bondsmen and them was so cool. They from Queens. They knew me. They said, yo, we don't need no money. All we need is 50 signature and you good. Yeah, fuck the money. We yeah. don't even need money. A lot of people don't know about this. We ain't even need money. They fuck with us from Queens. We we holding it down for Queens. My bail bondman said, yo, just get 50 signature Smurf and you go. You know what I mean? So we ain't even need money. That's what niggas getting it twisted at. But at the end of the day, I see I wasn't getting a signature. I'm like, yo, just tell boy send my money over now. I see I wasn't getting a signature. So I said, boy, I told my baby moms, my cousin Los and them, Damo and them, whatever, whatever, whatever. Tell a nigga, yo, just send me my paper. I only need 75000 out of the $1.3 million, nigga. You know what I mean? They ain't send me my money. So how I'm supposed to feel as a, uh, as a, as a nigga that really put in pain for this G-Unit shit and really sacrificed my life for this shit? You telling me you ain't sending me my money that I earned. Yeah, yeah. Like a robbery. So I'm supposed to, and then my mother had to put the house up, right? So I'm supposed to come home happy on some, oh, shit, fuck it, it's G-Unit. My nigga, I'm a gangster. I'm a stand-up nigga at the end of the day. Like, I'm not no dick rider. I'm not no dick sucker. I don't care what a nigga got, nigga. I got morals and principle. I'm from the old school. I'm an 80s baby, nigga. That's why I came home on that bullshit. Like, y'all niggas left me in jail, ain't sent me my money. What What you expect supposed to happen is war after that. What they expect? Well, look, can I ask you something, though? And this is a little awful because I ain't going to touch the subject you coming no more. But how you feel about a lot of street niggas, real niggas, including myself, feel like what 50 was doing was snitching on the um, homie Preem, though, bro? To keep it real? When I look back at it, man, man, we gonna get deep, right? I'm not, I'm not, just like I'm not harboring no rats like dice, I'm not harboring 50 no more, my nigga. When I used to roll with 50, nigga, we used to have police escorts, nigga. Awesome. Uh, this is well, a lot of niggas already know. Hey, 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 let, 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 this is no, no, no. This is, no. You don't understand what kind of police escort. When we in New York going to meetings, Federal agents used to follow us on the highway till we cleared their jurisdiction and we go into PA because this one 50 used to stay in PA. They used to follow us all the way till we got on the motherfucking the I 95, I 80, whatever shit we used to take to get a PA. They used to make sure we out of New York district first, nigga. Federal agents, nigga. Wow. This is facts, nigga. On the strip for this nigga. Been dealing with police. This ain't, why you think he's still in the streets, nigga? I'm not harboring niggas no more. Just like I exposed that, we could expose 50, and I'm not even hating, because if he a real nigga, he'll tell you this. Federal agents used to escort us out of New York City, nigga. Like 20 cars, nigga. Wow. Anytime he comes, he got a link with the feds, nigga. Yeah, and a lot of niggas, we going a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas feel he had a, uh, like a setup between him and the feds where he was exposing shit to them through the music. Like, you know what I mean? They, he, he, was. he was. He was. He was. He was. My G, he was. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Like it was one. 
Mm -hmm. Five snitches. Fifty. Who shot you? You think it was pre freezer tata? Yeah. Come on, nigga. Yeah. Come on, nigga. And yeah. you know one of them had something to do with it. You don't do shit like that. Yeah, yeah. He was the main nigga when murder and got indicted. I'm not harboring niggas no more. Look, it's I'm letting everything out. Why you think murder and got indicted? That's what I was gonna go to. Nigga, look, vibes positive, finish smurf, chill. I never even been exposed to some blood. How you think murder and them niggas got indicted? Let me let me say this. As far as the murder ink indictment, right? I heard it came from the line that he made in that diss record when he was like. It can't, he said, the about, you, right, if you pull right. up, my G, if you pull up, mm -hmm. them old well, like, news, they, are, they, 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 they had the nigga whole lyrics on trial. Mm -hmm. They used his lyrics right. to indict yeah. Prince. Why lyrics. niggas don't talk about that? Yeah. They used his lyrics to indict Prince. Why niggas don't talk about that? Yeah, All these so-called gangsters that's in the industry, so-called gangsters in the streets, why they don't talk about that? You know why? Because these niggas are suckers. Just because a nigga got money, them niggas bow down to money. I don't bow down to nothing. Right, right. Only thing I bow down to is the high ups, and that's my motherfucking creator, my nigga. That's, a fact. And that's their problem. These industry niggas, once you got money, they suck dick, nigga. That's a fact. That's what they do. I don't gotta suck dick to live like this, that's nigga. A fact. I'm in the field with it. Yeah, that's a fact. You understand what I'm saying? That's the difference between me and them. Yeah, that's a fact. And a lot of niggas be glorifying gun and. Niggas be acting like he the biggest murderer. Boy ain't put no work in yet. <laughs> yeah, he got niggas Nigga got, Yeah, he got he niggas. Got shot. Yeah. Boy ain't put no work in yet. <laughs> and I be looking, and I be looking, I be mad, humble with this shit. But facts is facts, nigga. I'm not harbor, I'm not harboring niggas no more. Dice is a OG legacy.